Hello everybody. I have this movie in my mind for a while already, but I said to myself that I need to hold my liquor and let people do whatever they want to do. A lot of people are for Golden Corporation project in Russia Montana, and twice as much they are against it. What's made me change my mind is the fact that none of them know the reality and the truth about it. So here we go, the truth about Russia Montana that nobody in Romania don't have the courage to expose it. Basically everything starts in December 2000 when uh, the premier of Romania was Adrian Nastasi uh, and under his government Rosia Montana, the normal exploration, the classic exploration with digging underneath the ground, was closed and declared out of business. In less than six months, this guy in the pictures shows up and make an offer to the Romanian government. His name is Frank Timish. He's famous around the world for mining deposits overestimated. The Romanian government accepts this guy offered right away without any kind of question about his future projects. And just like a fact, just to bring it up, this guy bought the Russia Montana mining almost for free. The next step was pretty simple. All he needs to do is to bribe top political leaders in Romania. So one by one, Nastasi, Unguran, Basescu, and even Ponta accept favors from Frank Timish. The next episode in Frank Timish plan was how to overestimate the gold resources remaining in the mine. Now please let me introduce another guy. His name is Aurel Suntimbreanu. It's one of the most respectable geologists in the world. Now he's retired, but for the last 30 years of his career, he used to be the general manager of Roshia Montana Mining. Let's listen to him and what he has to say. Mina statului, începând din 1948 și până în anul 2000, a extras 13 milioane de tone de minereu și 20 de tone de aur. Ei preconizează să extragă minereu într-un an 13 milioane cât noi am extras în 4. What Aurel Sintimbreanu has to say is that in the extraction report of Gabriel Resources, one of a Frank Timish company, estimated to extract in one year the entire production of the mine in the last 40 years. Is that even possible? Let's listen to him more. Când au venit în Roșia Montana, directorul de atunci, un inginer Gruber Gheorghe, m-a solicitat să mă duc până la Roșia Montana să le dau niște explicații la geologii canadieni care au venit în Roșia pentru cercetarea zăcământului. Au trimis mașina după mine, m-am dus, am fost foarte bine primit, am stat cu ei de vorbă, am văzut documentația toată cumpărată de la Agenția Națională de Resurse Miniere, tradusă în limba engleză și m-au rugat să mă uit peste ea, să le spun dacă sunt niște inexactități și m-am uitat și așa fugitiv și am zis, las că mă uit mai târziu. Ca în timpul ăsta ei ori merg și ori discutat cu domnul Frank Timiș, care el a fost cel care a pus piciorul în Roșia Montană cu această e, companie și când s-a întors de acolo și i-am cerut lucrarea, au spus că are caracter confidențial. Și atunci eu zic, cum lucrarea are caracter confidențial când e făcută de mine? Și poartă semnătura mea, acum a devenit confidențială. Și m-am ridicat de pe scaun și am plecat și n-am mai discutat cu nimeni. Una Canadian team of geologists came to Roșia Montana to do their own investigation to evaluate the gold resources left in the mine, I was introduced to them. At the time, they asked me to look over the report that they bought from Romanian government. I requested some time for it, but after they met with Frank Timish, the Canadian geologist let me know that the report is confidential from now on to me. I was very surprised. I don't understand not even now how those specialists didn't realize that I was the team leader who wrote that report. I was the one who wrote it and signed it 40 years ago. How the report can be confidential to me now? All of this happened after they met in a private meeting with Frank Timish. I was very disappointed to see such an unprofessional proof at the time. But let's listen more to our Elson Tim Rand. Sunt două realități diferite. O realitate a celor care cunosc 
zona și o realitate a celor care propagandistic n-au niciun interes. Ana. Mineritul nu mai e posibil la Roșia Monta. What Romanian geologist Taurel Santimbreanu has to say about Roșia Montana is that we have two ways to look at it. One is the way of people who work there and know the reality of it. And the other one is the way of the people who over-evaluated gold resources left in the mine for other purposes. Probably you're asking yourself, what do you mean, other purposes? Maybe I express myself wrong. Actually, it's just one purpose, and that is money and simple like that basically now we have just two ways to make the money our first way is stock market speculation which is pretty simple you just listed your company on a stock market in the very beginning the stocks they're gonna be high you're gonna have some buyers and after a while you're gonna create an unexpected event those stocks they're gonna go low the difference between the low price and the high price is called profit. The second one is governmental compensation. This way, it's even simpler than the first one. Why? Because all you need to have is a contract between your company and the national government. And here, the same like in the first case, you're gonna create after a while an unexpected event that's gonna force the government to get off the contract. What do you mean an unexpected event? In the beginning you're gonna have just one. And after a while you're gonna have few more. That few more is gonna go to a lot more. And that a lot more is gonna become a crowd. And that crowd is gonna go internationally. Worldwide, baby. And the most amazing thing of all, those people, they're gonna do this event for you for free. First profit is gonna come from the stock market. The people in the street, they're gonna keep going. And after, we're gonna have our first governmental reaction. And after that reaction, our money is going to pop up all over the place. Congratulations. You just make $4 billion.